Long, long ago, there were a man and a woman. They were husband and wife. They lived in the village and were poor. They made their living by cultivating their small field. The man was lazy by nature. He did not like to do anything. When there was no work in the field, he got up in the morning after the sun had brightly shone. And then he remained sitting at the door of his cottage. Next, he rubbed his fingernails as if he were busy to cleanse them and then yawned idly. One day, when the work in the field was over, he led his two oxen to the farm. Then he walked from place to place as though he was looking for something. A little later, he found a tuft of tall grass. He tied his oxen to it and went away to take rest under a tree. The oxen were then browsing quietly on the grass around the tuft. Now when the grass all around the tuft was gone, they wanted to go further for more grass. So they pulled hard at the ropes. And the ropes then pulled out the tuft of grass. Seeing that the oxen were going away, the man ran off to catch them. Then in the place of the uprooted tuft of tall grass, he discovered a hole. He looked into it carefully and he found out on earth a jar full of shining bits of gold. Ah! exclaimed the man, what's the use of such worthless things? And then he covered the hole again with the same tuft of tall grass and caught hold of his oxen and led them home. On that day, his wife prepared a good meal for him and they were very happy to enjoy the meal together. When this was finished, they were going to chat together. The man suddenly thought of what happened in the morning. Then he laughed and laughed. On seeing her husband laughing like that, the woman asked. Why do you laugh, my dear? The man said, oh my dear, it was very funny in the morning, I tied the oxen to a tuft of tall grass. I do not know why they had pulled as the ropes to uproot the tuft of grass. I at once ran to stop them and found out a hole where the tuft of grass stood and in it an earthen jar full of pieces of pure gold. On hearing this, the woman shouted out heavens. Have you brought it home? After yawning, the man replied why? I thought it would be of no use to me, so I put it back into the hole and covered it again with the same tuft of grass. The woman felt very greedy to have the jar of gold. She said bring it to me at once. But the man was not ready to do so at once and replied may we not go tomorrow? Just then, while they were chatting together about the treasure, their chance to be a thief under their cottage. He was curious to know what they were chatting about and listened quietly. Learning at last the matter they chatted about, he was delighted. And without delay, he went away to look for a spade and a torch. With these, he went towards the place of the treasure. There, the thief lighted his torch and dug into the hole. After some minutes, he discovered an earthen jar. But it was full of poisonous snakes and not of pure gold. The snakes were struggling to come out of the jar. The thief was then afraid and became angry with the lazy man. Then he covered the jar with the planks so that the snakes might not come out and lifted it up from its hole. Next, to have his revenge on the lazy man, he took up the jar on his shoulder, and hurried to the lazy man's cottage. It was midnight then and the whole village was silent. The thief took a small ladder to place against the wall of the cottage. Then he climbed up as high as the roof and he made an opening there and emptied the jar though it, thinking the snakes would kill the lazy man and his wife. But luckily the lazy man and his wife woke up in great surprise at the noise of the floor. They quickly lighted the lamp and saw pieces of pure gold. How delighted they were! As for the thief, he came down at once with joy thinking that the snake would kill the lazy man and his wife and moved away quietly. Very soon, this news of the luck of the lazy man spread all over the village. The thief also came to know about this. He was then very angry. And he kept on thinking how to rob the lazy man or to destroy his property. One day, when the lazy man went to rest behind his cottage, he saw there were a large number of ants following a big one. They sometimes went into their hole and sometimes they came out. This made him speak out Ah, I know very well how many of you go in and out. Till he returned to his cottage, the lazy man kept on saying I know very well how many of you go in and out. He repeated this sentence again and again like a student learning his lesson by heart. At night, when he slept happily with his wife, 
the same thief with his seven friends came to do harm to the lazy man and his wife. They crouched under the man's cage to wait for their chance. The lazy man shouted in his sleep I know very well how many of you go in and out. As soon as they heard these words, all the thieves in great fright ran away in different directions. They did not approach the cabbage anymore. From that time on, the thief did not dare to make any harm to the lazy man, because he thought, the lazy man had luck. The thief returned to his house and began to work as a peddler of pork. Every day he carried the pork to sell to people living nearby. On morning the lazy man was at home with his wife and they sat in their veranda. With the feeling of irritation in her head, the woman put her head on the lap of her husband and asked him to look for the louse. And so the man began to search for it. Meanwhile the peddler of pork came in front of their cottage and shouted Pope R.K. Pope R.K. Pope R.K. At the very same moment, the lazy man captured a big louse from his wife's head. Laughing, he said loudly Yah, you the dirty animal, I looked for you for a long time, how can you escape now from me? The thief was stunned. He thought he was found out as a thief, looking right and left with large eyes, he threw away his baskets and ran away as fast as he could. Seeing this, the lazy man was perplexed. And same minutes later, he came down and collected the pieces of pork to share them with his neighbors. Long, long.